Hey guys, today is 31st August 2021. I just came out with a bunch of notes. And uh, for the sake of my own explanation and preserving my knowledge, I'm recording this video. So, we're studying Anthony Ryder, his mark making techniques. This is my favorite piece by Anthony Ryder. This is a, a compilation book that um, I got it made. My dad got it made for me. It's got it printed, cut the pages, produced it. So, point number one. Uh, you know, these soft washes, how does he resolve forms like these? You see this? The softness. Now, Anthony Ryder has a concept called tapering curving gradations. So, tapering, so it, it is tapering this way, right? So, imagine this is a pencil. You would make a stroke this way, right? So, this is a gradation, light to dark. It is tapering and it is curving. So, all his marks, he resolves form this way with these marks. So, over here, tapering curving gradations over here this tapers this way wide tapers this way this tapers this way and then they overlap with each other so that you might have something like tapering curving gradation this way but tapering curving gradation this way you get my point and then tapering curving gradation this way and the form resolves that way this is a big drawing. This is a pretty big piece. So, you know, we're talking about big paper, small pencil. This is not as rough. It's pretty finished. But uh, I was studying how he finishes these things. So, if everything is a tapering curving gradations, then when do washes happen? When do, then when does where does softness come from? You know, like this breast, how does this happen? So that's what I studied, right? This is the same thing, the softness. So this is what I've studied. So these are the steps. You resolve form. You can see tapering curving gradation this way, right? So you form outlines this way. I like, you know, tapering curving gradation, TCG, 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 TCG. Oh, this is this way, TCG. Okay, then TCG, TCG. Now that this is established, now this part is the terminator of the shadow. So terminators need to be soft, usually. Cast shadows can be sharp, but with form shadow, terminators are soft. So this terminator, he has softened with hatching over it. You can see the tapering graphing shape over here. Here's established an outline of this and then he's filled it in with the edges of the TCGs. And he has hatched softly to soften this, right? So we established this outline, we established the terminator, we soften it with hatching. And then we put a wash, simply a wash. That is Anthony Ratter's softness, or softness, right? can see a whole wash going this way wash 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 yes so the steps are you establish the shading shapes with TCGs this side shade in the terminator right this is also with TCGs except you would be careful and you would hatch very lightly and softly then take care of the edge quality with peripheral smooth graining could be with hatching or with a uh, round round shading with a pencil very soft very light then finally put in the wash the big wash then wash over wash until you have the flattest wash so there can be multiple washes and the you know the flattest graphic the most general wash you would put in in the end why because when you put a wash over another wash over this it destabilizes the grains of this pencil this can happen with digital too. Uh, it's an illusion because grains go over grains. 
then uh, when it destabilizes these grains, uh, this edge becomes softer. So the more washes you put in, the softer these edges become. Therefore, you put the dark parts first so that they soften with layers within the shadow. Right? Therefore, put the dark areas first so they soften, then fill in between the soft cushions of the resolved edges and like this. These are the soft cushions of the resolved edges. This is the terminator and this is the whole wash going in. Right? Now, these washes can also be gradations. They need not be flat. They can go from light to dark. So this is the same thing except the part in violet is done as a gradation. This same thing. Right? Now what is a wash? Wash is a tapering curving gradation except it is not tapering fully. It is like a cut part, uh, a blocky part. It need not taper fully. Right? So this wash, it need not taper. It may taper. That was a concept from this drawing. Now you can see, you know, this wash going, darkening this way, this wash darkening this way, and this wash darkening this way. So if you look at this, this is what's happening over here. Uh, oh, sorry about that. It's on the page. Okay, this is what's happening over here. There's a wash going in this direction, this direction. There's a wash going in this direction, this direction over here. And there's a tapering curving gradation going this way. You can see it over here, the small one over here. That's all that is happening over here. That's all. Just wash one, wash two, TCG. And a big wash, general wash number three, that is happening from here to here over everything that is softening everything up. That's all that is happening. Just three washes. And these are the softened cushions of the Terminator that he has resolved. Right? And this is the final piece. This is the final. So that's what this concept is about. Right? There's not much overlap between these gradating washes, wash one and wash two. Not at all. Yet they form the entire final thigh as a finished statement. It's that simple. Yes? So we've seen this so far. Right, this and this. Now this. Okay, we're seven minutes in. Let's see if we can wrap this in two more minutes. Now, he replicates rough pencil marks as resolved shading in a composition. So imagine you're designing something. You're designing this, you know, like it's a small sketch. And then you just make these marks like this. You know, like mark, mark, mark. You know, just subconsciously you just put these marks. Just like you feel it out because you're an artist. You know, you're expressing yourself. So now, generally you would put in like this. But what would happen to that if it this were like a 12 by 18 huge paint, you know, huge paper and you were, you know, how would you translate that sketchy feeling into this? He's done it over here. You can see this mark, this part, look at this part in the drawing. He has done this, which, which would be like, I'm not saying he does this intentionally, but this is how, I, what I would use it for. You can see this? Let me get a pen. Okay. This, 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 this. You can literally see it over here. And that's that's pretty big. That that arm must be like this big. He's not put pencil. You know, there is no pencil that is as as thick as that. That would make that appearance. So what he has done is, he has established that outline, and he has put in these tapering, curving gradations over here. This way, this way, this way. So that if you have this, and this is going this way, this is going this way, this is going this way, right? So that. This is coming there, this is coming here, this is coming here, this is coming here, and it forms this outline. That's how he's resolved that, and he has made that statement over here. So, resolve shading, in a huge drawing, he gave a gradating directionality to these pencil sketch marks with the TCG. So, this is called preserving the composition with original subconscious marks. The sketch can be converted 
or reproduced into a finished artwork this way.